after 7 o'clock p.m. time to give shout out it's 7 o'clock p.m. It's after seven o'clock. It's time to give a shout out. Thank you to all the front line, the essential workers, to the doctors, the nurses, the longshoremen, the bus drivers, the truck drivers, the farm workers, those who work in the stores, those who work in the hotels, the restaurants, the parents, the teachers, the counselors. So please, if you hear my voice, would you clap your hands, honk your horns, shout, make some noise. Yeah, frontline workers, thank you. What's going on, Facebook? How y'all doing? So, yeah. It's another beautiful day out here. And, uh, anyway, today is day 407. Day 407. It's May. Day 407, May the 12th, 2021. And as of 6 o'clock p.m., according to the coronavirus pandemic live on YouTube, 3,347,102 people have died from coronavirus, of which 597, 785 came from the United States. And then if you look over here in the red, on May 6th, last year, last year, 2020, in the world, 263,000. In here in the United States, 73,039. That was last year in 2020 of May. And then last month, April, 2021, 2,887,228. And last month, here in the United States, 570,247. That gives you an idea of, of um, what the numbers are like and how it's gone up. And right here in California, it was 59,769 last month. April 6, 2021. <coughs> so let me do my birthday greetings. First of all, happy birthday, Kevin McGee, Laura Gamble, Gail LaCour. Happy birthday to all of you, all you Taurus people. Happy birthday. Hope everything is going good. I hope you're having a good birthday. Um, yeah, so uh, do that thing. Enjoy this day. It's a beautiful day right here in California, right here in the Bay Area. So, um, you know, um, I can say I know there's like a lot of things going on in the rest of the country, but right here, the sun is shining. So that's a good thing. And um, today, I guess my shout out. It has to do for those nine people were killed at a middle school in Russia, in Kazan. Uh, seven of them were middle school students. Two were teachers. They...
I don't know. Whenever I think of Russia, I don't think of them having shooting schools, shootings at schools and churches and, um, you know, the mall, supermarkets. I don't think of them ha have that kind of stuff over there like, like we do over here, you know, not for schools. Normally, a lot of it would be political. Um, this is in Kazan, which the province, I believe, is predominantly Muslim. So I don't know if that's a political issue or religious issue or anything like that, but that's what happened. Um, I don't know if you guys remember back in 2004, the Chechens um, took over an entire school and they had over a thousand people um, as hostages. And I guess they were negotiating with the Russian authorities or however that worked, but it didn't work. When it was over with, after they started shooting and everything between uh, government officials and between the Chechen, uh, Chechen people who were fighting for freedom from Russia, over 350 people were killed. The majority of them were children. So... That's, you know, that happened in 2004, so now that this thing is going on again in Russia. Also, um, Israel and Palestine, they've escalated fighting over Al-Aqsa, Al also known as Temple Mount in Jerusalem, and this is sacred to both Islam and Judaism. So right now, they're... they're there's also going on where in East Jerusalem, so first of all, Israel has captured all of Jerusalem, so they consider Jerusalem to be their capital for Israel. That's what they want. You know, that's when Trump went over there and declared that uh, the United States would recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. In East Jerusalem, there's Palestinians who live there. And so the Israeli authorities have been evicting the Palestinians, so that's been leading to fighting and stuff. And Al-Aqsa, <clears throat> during Ramadan, you know, Ramadan is like um, a, a month of holy, holy month for Muslims, for Islam. And um, evidently what's, what went on is there were like a lot of fighting and stuff going on right outside the the mosque, and then the Israeli authorities invaded the mosque using tear gas and rubber bullets and everything inside the mosque. It's like, you know, normally in Christian churches, it's like it's considered sanctuary. You go inside a Christian church, it's supposed to be sanctuary. Of course, that didn't work for, you know, in South Carolina where that Ku Klux Klan Confederate white supremacist came in and prayed with um, the blacks during their service and then killed nine of them, you know. And then they took him alive. It's amazing how when they do something wrong, they get captured alive. But anyway, that's another story. So um, the Israelis invaded. So then um, Hamas, which I believe controls Palestine, they wanted Israel to stand down their troops from invading Al-Aqsa because it is, you know, one of the three holy, sacred things for Islam. Israel refused. Hamas sent over a thousand rockets into Israel, killing approximately six civilians, including children. Israel responded by doing airstrikes over the Gaza Strip, hitting um, Hamas, killing over 50 Palestinians. So right now, they're, the fighting is intensifying everywhere. <clears throat> so this might be another intifada. They already had two intifadas. They've had numerous wars and clashes over there. So I don't know. The way it looks, it's like it's going to get worse. So, um, this should be under shout out, but, you know, I might have to change the shout out to prayers and thoughts.
Maybe that's what I'll do. And again, prayers and thoughts for all those who have died from coronavirus all over the world and here in the United States and prayers and thoughts for those who have tested positive for COVID-19 and those who have had to go to the hospital for non-coronavirus related medical issues, whether it was physical, emotional, spiritual, or whatever the situation is, they had to go to the hospital. So I ask you to keep, keep all of them in your prayers and your thoughts. And please pray for those who were killed by thugs, by criminals, by the police, by gangbangers, by the Nazis, the Ku Klux Klan, the white supremacists, vigilantes, Rebels, government troops, domestic violence, those who have committed suicide and those who have died because of someone else's stupidity, somebody else's action that caused innocent people to die. All right, so that's where I'm at. Um, this is day 407. I understand I was watching uh, the news that Governor, News, Governor Newsom is going to um, open up the entire state of California back up to, I imagine, 100%, and also where we won't have to wear masks outside, but that inside, you know, people can still wear masks. My thoughts on that, that's cool. But for me, I will continue to wear a mask because I don't know who has what or whatever, I'm not taking no chance. And I know, again, there's people who are refusing to get vaccinated. And some of those people refusing to get vaccinated are my own family members. And so it's kind of like there's a divide of those who will and those who won't. So it is what it is. And um, again, I will wear my mask when I go outside. And I will wear my mask when I go inside buildings or whatever. That's what I intend to do. Okay, so day 407, how much longer will I continue to do this? I don't really know. I don't really know. Like I told you before, I'm superstitious, so I might just keep on doing it. But it is what it is. Bahala na. Bahala na means it is what it is. So here we go. Mabuhai. Amanda, Hokahe, Harambe, Ashe, Que Viva, Shalom, Assalamu Alaikum, Wa Alaikum Assalam, Wakanda Forever, did I say Mahalo? Mahalo, um, oh, Namaste. Hey, you know, and Bahala na it is Bahala na it is what it is. Kind of same thing as case of Ra to Ra. Everybody stay safe, stay strong. You know, wear that mask if you choose to. If you don't choose to, it's on you, but it's on me because I will continue to wear mine. All right, y'all. And happy birthday, Kevin. Happy birthday, Laura. And happy birthday, Gail. You guys have a good one. Peace.